This is the restored pilot house from the Golden Eagle Steamboat, circa 1930. This is cool. And it's here at the Missouri History Museum. In Forest Park. St. Louis, Missouri. There's lots of other interesting things here also. Hi. How'd you get in here? Okay. And we're gonna head inside. Let's go see what we can see. There's the spirit of St. Louis up there. We're going to the History Clubhouse. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Let's go. So they have a really cool kids area here. It's filled with some interactive displays. Some cool things for the kids to do. The arch can sway up to 18 inches from side to side when it's extremely windy. That's why I felt queasy up there. There's the old admiral. Do you remember that big steamboat? Yes, we ate there a couple of times. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, we used to eat there too. It was really neat because when you would go downtown, you, the McDonald's was probably like much more expensive there, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. But I remember going there once or twice as a kid and, and it was just. It was really cool was eating really on cool. the river, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, you can make your own city, can't you? Really neat murals. We're going on a trolley? Yeah. Ding ding. This is really neat here. Are you steering us somewhere? <laughs> no? Do you think anyone in your family remembers riding in trolleys? You remember riding in a trolley? No. Not the old trolleys. Oh, look at that nice lighting. We're on a steamboat. People riding in, on steamboats dressed up in clothes like these. They didn't have JoJo bows? <laughs> Nowadays it's like JoJo bows and pink yeah, boots. Were, Back then it was a little bit simpler. This is heavy. Is that pretty heavy? Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's why those That's why they were so strong as they wore like 50 pounds of clothing. People working on steamboats were clothes like these. These are more fancy than those. That's lighter. Yeah. You tried. Oh yeah. Today we have the St. Louis wheel, but in 1904 at the World's Fair, this was their beauty. Rumor has it, there's an axle buried in Forest Park. Is it truth? Or is it, what is that? Your sticker? <laughs> what are you doing? Making us some dinner. Want oh, some dinner? Oh, you're catching some fish? Yeah, so this is magnetic. Oh. Fish are magnetic. Oh, we're gonna have magnetic fish for dinner? That sounds yummy. No. <laughs> oh, you got one. You're not gonna have And you're gonna put it in your basket? <laughs> nice. So this section is based off of Cahokia Mound. Yeah. Yeah. So there's Monk's Mound. We haven't been out to Cahokia Mounds in a little while. We've never made a video out there. I think we should do that soon, guys. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah, when the weather gets a little nice, we'll go to the top of Monk's Mount. We're eating food from the 1904 World's Fair. Well, how about I get to Where were hamburgers from? You remember? We learned at the Mirror Maze. You don't know where hamburgers from? Hamburg. Germany. <laughs> Hamburger, Germany. Do you remember what cotton candy was called? Fairy floss.
mighty Mississippi. What are you listening to? Yeah, what she said. Oh, that's an old, uh, that's an old sprinkler system there. Looks like it doesn't look too old though. That's weird. An old microscope. That's an earthenware salt pan found in Kimswick, Missouri. This pan was used to collect salt from evaporated water at springs flowing into the Mississippi River. All these things were found in the Mississippi and restructured into a uh, trash chandelier. So that says a lot about the Mississippian culture too, it looks like. Mount, and it's and Google Earth that takes you to that place. That's cool. And it's not only that takes you to that place, you can select images. Oh, to see the pictures too. Yeah. That's neat. Mm -hmm. Well, that one's in somebody's front yard, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Some fishing hooks. It looks like maybe some spearheads. Got some neat looking pottery. Ooh, the underwater spirit. Weather red mineral shows the animal profile facing left. His long tail extended over its body. This was removed from Alton, Illinois. A location that once overlooked the Mississippi River, and I believe that it once had a pictograph on it, a spirit pictograph. That is cool. This is a water panther from Picture Cave. That is crazy. Please touch. Feel the softness and thickness of beaver fur. It's gentle, probably. And the first layer is actually like as soft as bunny. That is the second layer. That is really soft. I think it's Elvira's deck bell. Huh? Of who? Sketchbook of Anna Marie von Fool. Circa 1817. This circuit damned. Oh, what do you think this might be? The mound. The mound? I also read it too. Mm -hmm. Like she did some nice work, huh? Well, they got some cool beads, some necklace parts there. I know what those are. Those are Indian trade bells. We saw those at the Pink Elephant. <laughs> Rolling down the river. Where are you taking us? To the next of the day. <laughs> this is the restored pilot house from the Golden Eagle Steamboat. Amazing. This is the 1904 World's Fair exhibit that they have here. You can 
got some neat medals. Ooh, some really intricate uh, metal work there. That's really nice. Has dragons and koi fish on it. That's pretty. furniture that was sold at the fair all kinds of cool neat things. So, what'd you learn today? <laughs> I learned a lot. We learned about the World's Fair. Yep. We learned about the mighty Mississippi. Yep. And how to put on puppet shows. I already knew that. Oh, okay. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Oh, and subscribe too. You forgot that, didn't you? I did. Who are you? Who? Right now. Bye bye. Thank you guys for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye 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 bye.